Maria Lewis was a 17-year-old fugitive slave who escaped north from Albemarle County, Virginia, around Charlottesville, and traveled north to New York by disguising herself as a deeply tanned white man. But she didn't just stop at escaping. She joined the 8th New York Cavalry under the alias of George Harris and served still disguised as a white man. She was first in the Battle of Waynesboro and would later see service in the Shenandoah Valley and participate in several major battles, including Antietam, Gettysburg, and the Confederate surrender at Appomattox. She would also later be selected to be part of an honor guard presenting 17 captured Confederate battle flags to Edward Stanton, the U.S. Secretary of War. After the war, she settled in New York with the family of one of her officers, returning to the attire of hoops, skirts, and petticoats, but still celebrating her veteran status with her comrades. Julia Wilbur, sister of Lieutenant Lewis Griffin, wrote in her journal, She knows Mr. Griffin. She wore a uniform, rode a horse, and carried a sword and carbine just like a man. The officers protected her, and she was with them mostly. The regiment didn't know she was a woman. She was called George Harris, but her real name is Maria Lewis. She's from Albemarle County, Virginia, and escaped to the Union Army.